Hello and welcome to another episode of Just Jordan Things, where I just read an article on the internet that there are lead in tampons. So we're going to do an experiment and see if we can find any in mine. Who's, who's, so, who's down for some fun? It's 2024 and we have to be worried about lead in our tampons. I want to share my scientific process with you for how I'm conducting this experiment. One, for, you know, accuracy, and two, because I'm not trying to fear monger here. This isn't clickbait. This isn't something where I'm trying to scare anyone, okay? I am simply testing tampons that I have and I will present the facts as I find them. I am using this Fluorospec test kit that comes with a UV light. No, oh, oh it, no, it's on. And some things to note about this is if it glows before we spray the indicator fluid, it is not lead. But if it glows afterwards, it is. I also don't know if the particles that could be found in tampons are big enough to be picked up by a fluorospec indicator liquid or not. So that is an unknown of this test. Take these results as an information starter point, not a final point, because I am not a scientist in a lab. I cannot do the full level of experiment that you would need to do to understand if there is lead there, if it is harmful, or what levels it would be at. This is simply a person at home doing a science experiment with a flashlight that she bought off the internet. So, that being said, Let's go open some tampons. <laughs> We're gonna do a test on the three different brands of tampons I have and see if there's lead in them. I will say this as a disclaimer, at the beginning of this video, you need to do more research on your own and understand what's safe and what's right for you. I wanted to make sure that I'm opening the unsealed tampons on camera so you know I'm not tampering with them. This isn't just for views and likes. I'm not fear mongering, okay? This is real tampons that I would really use that were in my cabinet. I make sure to open them and then do a full cut. So there is a little bit of, you're gonna have to wait because I'm not cutting the video. The first brand we have is these U by Kotex, I believe is the brand name. So here's me opening them, taking them out. I'm shining the light on it beforehand and nothing is glowing. So that's a good sign that, you know, anything that does glow after this, it's because it would be lead. So I spray the indicator liquid on it. I can't really see anything as I'm spraying. Also a good sign, I think. I'm gonna hold it up to the camera here so you can see there's nothing green glowing. I do wish I had something with lead on it so that I can show you what it would look like if it did glow green. But the blue light is, is a glow from the actual light itself. So anything blue you see on there that's reflecting back, that's just the black light that I'm using. I do make a cut here to bring the tampon closer so that you can see exactly what I'm seeing, but I did not tamper with it. That is how it looks. Let's move on to the next one. This is where I am kind of concerned. I have no idea what I'm looking at here. And there are some things kind of glowing before we put any spray indicator on there. So that to me says it could already have like particles that shine under a black light in it. But I feel like I see more afterwards and I can't really tell. See those little specks of green in there? I feel like there's more when I spray the indicator liquid, but again, I can't really tell. So I'm going to open this guy up and actually see if I can see the flat light. I should have done this at the start, but I didn't realize this one opened up like this. And I end up spraying it again, and you can see it kind of lights up a little more green, but I can't tell if it's from the previous spray that I did or if it was already there. So I do open up a second one of this specific tampon brand to see if I can recreate what I'm seeing. So here is the second one of the same brand. You can see it is new out of the package still. I'm not tampering with anything. We're going to open it up first thing because, you know, we figured out that that happens. And you can kind of see there's some of those green specks there, but not as many as the other ones. So I'm gonna actually pull that out of this before we spray to see if we can just you know, remove the glowing particle so I can tell if it's gonna be more or less after I spray with the indicator liquid. So this is just me checking, making sure I'm removing that little fleck. No idea what it could be what would be glowing in a tampon under a black light? Anyway, no idea. So now we spray it again and see if anything 
comes up green afterwards and it I can't tell I need your opinions on this I can't really tell if it gets more green after I spray or not should I do this in a dark room is am I going crazy am I looking for the results I want to find on this and just being paranoid now about my tampons you tell me what do you think last but certainly not least we have this brand I'm a little skeptical after the last one, not going to lie, but we are moving forward. We're just going to keep testing. We're going to see what we find. Again, I'm going to check beforehand, see if there's anything that I see. And I notice that this tampon opens up similar to the other one. So again, checking, making sure anything that glows beforehand, not lead. So there is one little speck in here and you will see I spray kind of directly on that point because I want to make sure that there's nothing surrounding it and it doesn't get more green this one looks great and then I go in with the other liquid both of these liquids are the same just one is a spray and one is like a dropper so I will drop the dropper directly on this point to see if I can see anything different about it and I do not I do not personally see any change or indication that would make me feel like this could have been a positive like the other one the other one I do feel like is a lot more significant of a change and I visually see more green than this one I know it's hard to pick up on the camera because blue and green are very similar colors as they come through on the screen I'm still skeptical of using this brand now I feel pretty good about this brand, you know? Maybe there's other chemicals in there, maybe there's not. At this day and age, it's hard to know what we're putting in our bodies. And I hope this was interesting. I hope this inspired you to do more of your own research. And I hope that, you know, the companies that did get fined putting lead in their tampons, stop doing that thing. That would, that that's, that'd be nice. I'm gonna go throw these away and probably have a snack and try not to have an existential crisis. Uh, I will talk to you later. Jordan out.